The Cretron is a cold cathode gas-filled tube intended for use as a very high-speed switch, somewhat similar to the Thyrotron. It consists of a sealed glass tube with four electrodes. A small triggering pulse on the grid electrode switches the tube on, allowing a large current to flow between the cathode and anode electrodes. The vacuum version is called a vacuum Cretron, or Spritron. Cretron was one of the earliest developments of the E.G. and G. Corporation. Description Unlike most other gas switching tubes, the Cretron conducts by means of a dark discharge to handle very high voltages and currents, rather than the low current glow discharge used in other thyrotrons. The Cretron is a development of the triggered spark gaps and thyrotrons originally developed for radar transmitters during World War II. The gas used in Cretrons is hydrogen. Noble gases can also be used. Operation Cretron has four electrodes. Two are conventional anode and cathode. One is a keep alive electrode, arranged to be close to the cathode. The keep alive has a low positive voltage applied, which causes a small area of gas to ionize near the cathode. High voltage is applied to the anode, but primary conduction does not occur until her positive pulse is applied to the trigger electrode. Once started, our conduction carries a considerable current. The control grid is usually wrapped around the anode, except a small opening on its top. In place of or in addition to the keep alive electrode, some cretrons may contain a very tiny amount of radioactive material, which emits beta particles to make ionization easier. The radiation source serves to increase the reliability of ignition and formation of the keep alive electrode discharge. The gas filling provides ions for neutralizing the space charge and allowing high currents at lower voltage. The keep alive discharge populates the gas with ions, forming a pre-ionized plasma. This can shorten the arc formation time by three to four orders of magnitude in comparison with non-pre-ionized tubes. As time does not have to be spent on ionizing the medium during formation of the arc path, the electric arc is self-sustaining. Once the tube is triggered, it conducts until the arc is interrupted by the current falling too low for too long. Cretrons and spritrons are triggered by a high voltage from a capacitor discharge via a trigger transformer. In a similar way flash tubes for e.g. photo flash applications are triggered. Devices integrating a Cretron with a trigger transformer are available. Spritron Spritron, also known as vacuum Cretron, is a vacuum, rather than gas-filled, version. It is designed for use in environments with high levels of ionizing radiation, which might trigger a gas-filled Cretron spuriously. Spritrons lack the keep alive electrode and the pre-ionization radioactive source. The trigger pulse for the grid must be stronger than for a Cretron. Spritrons are able to handle higher currents. Cretrons tend to be used for triggering a secondary switch, e.g., a triggered spark gap. While Spritrons are usually connected directly to the load, the trigger pulse has to be much more intense, as there is no pre-ionized gas path for the electric current and a vacuum arc must form between the cathode and anode. An arc first forms between the cathode and the grid, then a breakdown occurs between the cathode grid conductive region and the anode. Spritrons are evacuated to hard vacuum, as kovar and other metals are somewhat permeable for hydrogen, especially during the 600 degrees Celsius bakeout before evacuation and sealing. All external metal surfaces have to be platted with thick layer of soft gold. The same metallization is used for other switched tubes as well. Spritrons can be also triggered by a laser pulse. In 1999 the laser pulse energy needed to trigger a Spritron was reduced to 10 microjoules. Spritrons are usually manufactured as rugged metal, ceramic parts. They typically have low inductance and low electrical resistance when switched on. After triggering, just before the Spritron switches fully on in avalanche mode, it briefly becomes slightly conductive. High-power MOSFET transistors operating in avalanche mode show similar behavior. SPICE models for Spritrons are available. Performance 
Cretrons and Spritrons are capable of handling high current high voltage pulses, with very fast switching times, and constant low jitter time delay between application of the trigger pulse and switching on. Cretrons can switch currents of up to about 3000 amperes and voltages, up to about 5000 volts. Commutation time of less than 1 nanosecond can be achieved with a delay between the application of the trigger pulse and switching as low as about 30 nanoseconds. The achievable jitter may be below 5 nanoseconds. The required trigger pulse voltage is about 200-200 volts. Higher voltages decrease the switching delay to some degree. The switching delay is strongly independent on the environment. Commutation time can be somewhat shortened by increasing the trigger pulse rise time. A given Cretron tube will give very consistent performance to identical trigger pulses. The keeper live current ranges from tens to hundreds of microamperes. The pulse repetition rate can range from 1 per minute to tens of thousands per minute. Switching performance is largely independent of the environment. However, the formation of the keep alive glow discharge is more sensitive, which necessitates the use of a radioactive source to aid its ignition. Cretrons have a limited lifetime, ranging, according to type, typically from tens of thousands to tens of millions of switching operations, and sometimes only a few hundreds. Spritrons have somewhat faster switching times than Cretrons. Hydrogen-filled thyrotrons may be used as a replacement in some applications. Applications Cretrons and the variations are manufactured by Perkin Elmer components and used in a variety of industrial and military devices. They are best known for their use in igniting exploding bridge wire and slapper detonators in nuclear weapons. Their original application, either directly or by triggering higher power spark gap switches. They are also used to trigger thyrotrons, large flash lamps in photocopiers, lasers and scientific apparatus, and for firing igniters for industrial explosives. Export restrictions in the USA, because of their potential for use as triggers of nuclear weapons, the export of cretrons is tightly regulated in the United States. A number of cases involving the smuggling or attempted smuggling of cretrons have been reported, as countries seeking to develop nuclear weapons have attempted to procure supplies of cretrons for igniting their weapons. One prominent case was that of Richard Kelly Smith, who allegedly helped Tarn and Milch and smuggle 15 orders of 810 cretrons total to Israel. 469 of these were returned to America, with Israel claiming the remaining 341 were destroyed in testing. The FBI has released documents showing Netanyahu was allegedly involved in this smuggling ring. Later, this story became the main idea behind Roman Polanski's film Frantic. Cretrons and Spritrons handling voltages of 2500 V and above, currents of 100 A and above, and switching delays of under 10 microseconds are typically suitable for nuclear weapon triggers. In popular culture, a Cretron was the MacGuffin in Roman Polanski's 1988 film Frantic. The Cretron, incorrectly called a Cretone, also appeared in the Tom Clancy nuclear terrorism novel The Sum of All Fears. The plot of Larry Collins' book The Road to Armageddon revolved heavily around American-made Cretrons that Iranian mullahs wanted for three Russian nuclear artillery shells they had hoped to upgrade to full nuclear weapons. The term, Cretron, appeared in the season 3, episode 14 of the television drama Person of Interest. In season 3 of NCIS episode Killari, part 2, it was revealed that Ari Haswari, a rogue Mossad operative, had been tasked with acquiring a Cretron trigger, along with stolen plutonium from Dimona. These were key components for an Israeli sting operation. The Cretron was also incorrectly called a Cretone. Further developments Optically triggered solid state switches based on diamond are a potential candidate for Cretron replacement.